Hey guys, this video is a tutorial for two-handed isolation. So the last one was about the classic isolation and now we are gonna add the second hand. And although I know that the two-handed isolation is uh, for most of the people this one, but I will present you also the other ways about the two hands isolations. Okay, so grab your hoop and let's go. begin with the easiest one so the two hands half and half isolation I don't know if it has a special name but it's like one hand half isolation and the other hand half isolation and I'm doing it on purpose because I think the isolation in general and all the family of the isolation trick is more about creating the spatial awareness special and spatial <laughs> awareness about where your hoop is and how can you adapt Adapt your body and the shape that you are creating with your hands to the hoop rather than moving with your hoop okay so all the elements that will grow your aware awareness and deepen your roots into understanding this trick will help you with any other future you know isolations whichever you take okay so grab the hoop the same way that we did in the basic isolation so the upper edge of your hoop your hand is open your palm is open facing the ceiling or the sky grab the hoop really like in control really tight and draw half of the circle until you get to the lower edge to the bottom of this movement okay and then add the second hand in the same exact way grabbing it tightly and drawing the half of the circle it's super hard to do it in slow-mo super straight okay and then you are switching the hands one by one so one is performing the half of the movement and the other one is performing the second half of the movement remember about the rule that I showed you in the previous tutorial in of the basic isolation if you haven't seen it the links are in the description <laughs> destruction <laughs> in the description so we are basically drawing a circle with our arm this is the movement in the isolation it's not about you know like manipulating it with our hand it's about drawing the circle and adapting our body to the shape of the hip okay so half circle and half circle okay the second way to perform the two hands isolation that the two hands are involved will be to perform the normal isolation and adding the second hand like doing these mirror move just next to the first one just like you know pretending to be doing it with both hands <laughs> however it may sound okay so this is the second way we can do it hop hop okay so my hand is just a company for the first one following this move but never catching the hoop okay so it's more like a illusion of two-handed isolation and the final one so the whole trick of performing the two-handed isolation here looks like this and how we do it i would give you an exercise which will a little break you know from this pattern of staying in one position with your hoop and i think it's kind of good to give this like change to the head and then go back okay so we will try to do the hand spin with those two hands passing from one hand to the other okay so what I'm doing I'm holding the hip with my right hand in this initial position the left hand is prepared just next to it and when I'm starting the movement the left hand has to let go and the right hand as well and let the hoop drop towards my left okay so boom and I catch it with my left hand, okay? So again, from here, I let it drop on the left. Boom, boom, okay? And I catch it with the left hand that continues the movement until the initial position, okay? So using a little of the momentum of the hoop and a little of the help of the left hand, okay? So try going like this, all right? When you're ready, lift it a little up and try going like this again. So your hands are the central spot of the movement but you are just simply 
adapting your brain to this touch of the external part of your hand you can go of course the other direction so first the right hand letting it loose and then the left up and helping each other okay now the same exact move so doing this drop catch drop catch with drawing the circle okay so the hands will perform exact the same action here the only difference is that it will be in constant motion of the whole arms okay <laughs> well let's see how it works okay so when i'm letting it drop towards the left i will by the same time try to lift my hands and draw the half of the circle so letting go and boom going up okay let's go let's try to do it hop hop okay so when i'm letting go i'm up here and then i continue the movement by grabbing using the momentum of the drop and grabbing it with the left hand transferring the right hand next to it and continuing until the end of the move okay it's kind of hard to show it in separate but i'll try so i'm letting it go going up up here <laughs> and then i'm catching with the left hand and going down okay so let's do it all together right now L releasing the hands going up changing the hands and going down with the switched hands okay one two three hop hop one two three hop hop okay maybe it's a little wobbly in the beginning like maybe it escapes a little okay just try to you know learn the technique learn the move in here okay whenever you're ready you can also try the second direction which might be tricky for the right-handed people going the opposite way that intuitively and the opposite okay but try going the same direction and switching to the other it always brings your brain like refreshing okay all right i really hope it was like really complex explanation <laughs> and there is a lot to work on so maybe you want to stay with this tutorial a little longer come back to it whenever you want of course you know i always encourage you to leave me some sign of your presence here it gives me a lot of energy to create these tutorials there are 30 tutorials Cre being created so the list is still growing i don't know when are you watching this video maybe it's already out there <laughs> so enjoy all of them you can begin your hooping adventure with this full pack of knowledge so if you like it leave me the like button you know subscribe to the channel to receive all the fresh videos that i'm uploading and stay up to date with all this amazing content <laughs> i hope okay see you in the next one I hope that it will help you to do a better job.